Okay, I'm actually so fucking pissed right now. I was supposed to watch The Meg at the theater today at 10.30 p.m. But when I fucking got there, they told me the last show was at fucking 9 p.m. But before I even left my house earlier during the day, I did check online and it said there was a show at 10.30 p.m. and at 11.15 p.m. tonight. So they fucking cancelled two shows for I don't know what the fuck reason. Yeah, so I'm clearly pissed but I'm just gonna watch it tomorrow afternoon, okay? I already fucking created a thumbnail but whatever. So I was eager to upload this review today but due to the circumstances I thought you know why not rank all the Jaws movies instead because sharks. <laughs> okay so as a kid the first Jaws movie that I saw was Jaws 2. I remember renting it at the video store. Yes back in my day we used to go to the video stores to rent and buy movies. Ah <sighs> the video store. I love that place. It got shut down. It got shut down a few years back. <sighs> Anyways, as I was saying, Jaws 2 was the first movie I saw and I loved it. it. I really can't remember watching the other three, but I'm pretty sure I watched the original Jaws. So anyways, jumping ahead many years later, I rewatched the first two Jaws movies and watched 3 and 4 for the first time. Honestly, this is the easiest ranking video I've done so far. Oh boy. So coming in at number 4 is of course fucking Jaws the Revenge. What a load of fucking garbage. You know it has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm frankly not surprised. If it even was at like 1% I would have shot myself. Cause fuck me this movie is atrocious. Just talking about this movie pisses me off. It's a hot pile of garbage. It really is. So the tagline of this movie is this time it's personal. What the fuck? Sharks don't take things personally. It's like the studio behind this movie gave a pen and paper to a bunch of 5 year olds and told them to write a fucking script. Oh guess what? The shark fucking roars in this movie. Yep, the shark roars. Like a lion. <sighs> Sharks don't fucking make sounds everyone. Ah, <sighs> God, everyone knows that. Ugh. Okay, even Michael Caine is in this movie. It's probably just one of his paycheck movies. I have so much more to say but I'm just gonna continue with the rankings cause talking about this movie just hurts my fucking head. I'm gonna give this movie a big fat fucking F. So coming in at number 3 is Jaws 3 or Jaws 3D. I don't know but this movie is almost unwatchable. I hate it as well but it didn't quite offend me as much as that pile of shit at number 4. It was actually the bad kind of good with the atrocious CGI shark that made me laugh every time it popped on screen. You could somewhat have fun with this movie because it's so ridiculous that you'll find it rather entertaining. I mean, it does have an interesting idea whereby the sharks get, uh, you know, gets loose in this water theme park. I mean, just think about it. There's plenty of ideas that could have been implemented in this movie. But too bad the characters are uninteresting, the story is boring, and everything was executed poorly. I'm gonna give this movie a D minus. Ha! Ah, yes, we finally come to the watchable ones. So coming in at number 2 is Jaws 2. Now this movie is alright I suppose, I mean Roy Scheider is in this movie too and he brings this movie um, slightly up a notch. It's a very average movie in my opinion. So in this movie he again tries to convince the town that there is another shark but they don't believe him and he ends up having to set out alone to save his two sons and a group of teenagers who went sailing. <laughs> the way the shark died at the end in this movie <laughs> was fucking brutal. <laughs> so yeah, so I like that. I mean, the practical effects of the shark is all right, I guess. You know, nothing special. But the boring characters, other than Chief Brody, and the plot itself really bogged down the movie. So I'm gonna give this movie a C. Ah yes, we finally come to the only good movie in this franchise. So coming in at number one, and everyone knew this was coming is of course the original Jaws. Now this movie was masterfully crafted by one of my favorite directors Steven Spielberg. Now there were actually a lot of production issues and one of it was that the practical shark was difficult to you know maneuver and handle but despite all the issues a very young Spielberg created the first big blockbuster probably in the history of film. Now this movie came out in 1975 but um, I don't know why many people say that the original Star Wars was the first big blockbuster but it came out in 1977 guys so to me Jaws is the first big blockbuster. Now what makes this movie excellent is the characters. They had depth, chemistry and you actually cared for them. You know Chief Brody was awesome and all but my favorite character was Quint. 
Rest in peace, Robert Shaw. <sighs> so besides that, John Williams' excellent score was eerie and suspenseful. Now the thing that made the shark work so well was of course the amazing practical effects as well as you know not showing the shark too often. This creates tension and suspense and you feel it throughout the movie. Despite watching tons of shark movies over the years, it's sad that the last great shark movie was in 1975. 43 years guys and we haven't got anything better. So I'm of course gonna give this movie a solid A+. So that was my ranking of all 4 Jaws movies, I hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know down below your personal rankings of these movies, but without a doubt, I know that Jaws the fucking revenge is in last place for all of your list, if it's not then there's something wrong with you, but anyways thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.